What is going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It is your host, Galadon, and I am excited to bring you another episode of the Strange But True Stories of Clash of Clans. Yes, we've got more bases like this one, the Town Hall 3, that had baby dragons in his army camps. Special thanks to the Amazon App Store for sponsoring this video, and if you did not know already, Clash of Clans has arrived to the Amazon App Store for Android. And now is your chance to take advantage of huge discounts, the Amazon App Store and Amazon Coins for Clash of Clans. And I'm going to explain to you how to do this. It is super simple and available on Android devices and Fire tablets. But Galadon, what the heck is an Amazon Coin, you ask? Well, it's simple. Amazon Coins are a digital currency. They're used on the Amazon App Store for in-app and in-game purchases. 100 coins equals a dollar or a pound if you're in the UK. And what's cool about the coins is there's different packages you can buy depending upon how much you want to spend. You can buy $499 worth of in-game coins for only $400, saving almost $100 with a 50,000 coin pack. Or if you spend less, you can get $50 worth of in-game items for only $43. Either way, you're saving big money. And how do you do this? First of all, on your Clash of Clans game, make sure that you are synced to Supercell ID. I know most of you already are. It is very important that you do this no matter what. It's a great way to keep your account safe. Once you've synced to Supercell ID, then yes, you actually uninstall Clash of Clans. Easy to do and your account is perfectly safe. Then you click on the link in my description down below. You download the Amazon App Store you open the Amazon App Store and install Clash of Clans from there. Then, once you've opened Clash of Clans, you just sync up with that existing Supercell ID, you type in the email address, you get a quick code, and you're good to go. Now you're ready to use Amazon Coins in-game, you select the pack you want to purchase, and for payment type, you choose Amazon Coins, and that is it. Save away. So let's get down into the meat of today's episode and talk about the strange but true. Now, first of all, I would love for you guys to help out and I would love to reward you for helping me find more strange but true villages, clans, players in the game. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a strange but true clan. So there's two ways that you can report these things to me. First, you can come to my Strange But True clan. Second, you can tweet me at Galadon Gaming using the hashtag StrangeButTrueCoc. I will check all of those. And if you come up with something new and different that I have not seen or featured before, I will hook you up with either iTunes, Google Play, or PayPal Cash, so you can get some of those Amazon coins as a reward for your contribution to a future Strange But True episode. So join the clan, send the tweet, and reap the rewards. Here is the clan, and yes, it's open right now. Nobody but me. I'm all by myself. Okay, so let's take a look at some past Strange But True. This was one of the weirdest. Zamot, Zamo, whatever his name was, he got to Town Hall 8 with no storages. Now remember, some of these are just very, very old accounts that were able to sell buildings and things like storages way, way back in the early days of Clash of Clans. However, unfortunately, just like our friend with the baby dragons at Town Hall 3, Zamot seems to be gone. And there's really no explanation why. We went back to his clan, Crimson Guard, which is still a full clan. Of course, it's wide open. There is no Zamo, but there is a Zamo 2.0. So I don't know if this was the same guy or somebody else, but nothing really unusual here, just a Town Hall 3. So let's get into this day and age, the current weird contributions that you guys are sending in. First of all, don't be sending me dirty tweets. I don't need to be looking up filth on my time. Okay, this guy says, Aaron Arazo says, look what I found. I'm like, what, you found your iPad in a puddle of mud obviously but no if you look a little more closely it actually was worth taking a look at blue has managed to unlock goblins without unlocking giants so we go take a look at his base and here it is right there you can see level two goblins he's a town hall five but here's the big giveaway when we go look at his base he has what in previous strange but true episodes has been referred to as the rarest obstacle in the game this weird four-sectioned stone 
is a sign of an extremely old Clash of Clans account that has been here for probably six years. And again, the way that he probably got there was by selling some of his buildings and reversing the progress. So a couple of other interesting tweets. Now, I thought this was just kind of funny that Will sent me this and he blacked out... Well, he left the player's name and hashtag, but he blacked out the clan. Uh, but I could just look up that... I don't know. Don't, don't, just, just, just let me do the blacking out. Okay. You guys know I'm really good at it. And then fish 22 sends me a picture of goblin poles, but this does not count. I need a live player in the game. I am offering a $50 bounty to find me a live player with goblin poles. All right, let's go back to another one that has appeared in past videos. This is the player that has renamed himself 2016 Bug Glitch with these multiple buildings stacked on top of each other. Then Twister Cuber tweets me the other day. He's like, check it out. The base is rebuilt, looks crazy. So we went back and sure enough, 2016 Bug Glitch still exists and he looks even stranger than he did before. So we knew that the town hall and the clan castle were stacked on top of each other. Here they are, even nearly three years later, the town hall and the clan castle are still here and it gets stranger right next to that. You've got this, I don't even know what to tell you. There's a wall, there's an air defense, there's a gold storage and there is a cannon apparently all stacked right on top of each other right here. And kind of the coolest thing about this is that this still exists in the game. This player is still there and is not going anywhere. Okay, next up, remember from a previous episode, the guy named Forever Alone who had no clan castle rebuilt? Well, we found him a buddy. That's right, Opie or Oppie here could join him. They could be in a clan together. Uh, wait a minute, they don't have, they could be in a non-clan. They could be real life friends. That's it, they could be real life friends. Here it is, Oppie with all of his little baby level one walls, no rebuilt clan castle. So he is also forever alone. Somebody needs to let him know. Uh, the fundamentals of the game, but he's gone all the way to Town Hall 11. He's got Electro Dragons unlocked, level one walls, and refuses to join a clan in the game called Clash of Clans. All right, next up, talk about the world's worst clan. Now, this is interesting because, of course, it's not the world's worst clan, but this clan has never won a war and is level 19. That's right, they are a level 19 clan with zero victories. Now, of course, if you guys are familiar with FWA, these farm war alliances that have been built up, this is one of those clans that participates in that. So they don't care about winning, they're just out to get the loot. And I have had some players ask me on social media, is this cheating? Can you get banned for this? Absolutely not. This is not against the terms of service. If you want to do this, what they've talked about is intentionally losing or throwing or fixing matches in clan war leagues. That is different. If you're going to do it in regular clan wars, go right ahead. And Barch Wars YM has managed to rack up an incredible 673 straight losses in clan wars. All right, you want another shot for free cash from Galadon? A $50 bounty being offered for anybody that can get me in to a clan that has a donation request older than the one you see on the screen right here. That's right, this is gonna be tough to beat. This clan request was 1,986 days old. That is almost five and a half years that poor Ajax was waiting for troops. Now, unfortunately, yes, it has been filled. I did not fill it all the way, okay? I'll tell you that right now. I did not complete this donation. It was still sitting there. If you can send me and get me into that clan, I've got $50 in PayPal cash to send to you. Now also, to those of you that are saying I'm just getting players banned left and right, first of all, I wanted to show you this Town Hall 1 that still exists and he was in a previous video and also to let you know that if you have a super secret player hashtag that you do not want exposed, I will cover up the hashtag and put it in the video and you can still get rewarded, okay? It can be between you and me. But this player right here is still here. He's got the War Hero achievement. He has donated over 29,000 troop space and he's a Town Hall 1. This should not exist. This is the strangest of strange right now in the game. A Town Hall 1 that was somehow 
a member of a clan that rebuilt the clan castle as a town hall one and joined a clan and donated 29,000 space worth of troops. Now, also, we've got a town hall 11 named Dark Wolf. He's made it all the way to town hall 11, only unlocking barbarians. Now, these accounts are accounts that you'll never see again because of that recent update a few months ago that requires you to build all the structures of the previous town hall before you move on to the next town hall. So the only way that you're ever going to see accounts like this is if they are grandfathered in, if they existed before that update. And it just so happens I have a couple of rushed accounts myself. This is my bizarre Town Hall 12. This is a Town Hall 12 with all level one defenses except for the Teslas. And it's got some mixed walls. And of course I've got some high level troops unlocked. And then I do have another impossible account. This guy right here, my Town Hall 11, this was built just off of the gem packs right before the update that prevented this from happening. We did it in a live stream on Twitch. We went ahead and built a Town Hall 11, got it as far as we could go. I believe it was right before Town Hall 12 was released that you could still get away with this. And you can see I've got unplaced buildings, an eagle, an air defense, and even a builder hut that haven't been placed yet. So this was done by buying those in-app purchases, getting those packages that you can get when you unlock a new Town Hall. And don't forget, a perfect time to remind you, follow those instructions that I gave you at the beginning of the video. Click on that link in the description and you can save big money. And I, I would love to be able to give something back to you guys. This is through Amazon, so you know it is completely legit. A great way to save up to 20% on in-app purchases in Clash of Clans and in other games. Make sure you check out the list there as well. But as always, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Make sure that you tweet me at strangebuttruecoc. Come join the clan, send those submissions in, and get a shot at free PayPal cash. As always, I appreciate your time. I hope that you get out there. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Be kind to other people. Be kind to animals. Be easy on the environment. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks and strange bases. And, and players. The Amazon App Store, you're welcome.